there are two systems of dimensioning we call these as aligned system and second is unidirectional system let us first talk about aligned system first of all i will tell you the definition of aligned system then i will explain aligned system through animation so what is aligned system in the aligned system dimensions are placed perpendicular to the dimension line so that they may be read from the bottom or right hand side of the drawing sheet dimensions are placed at the middle and on top of the dimension lines so let us understand this definition through an example suppose this is the front view of any object and we want to place dimensions by using the rules of aligned system one important point to understand whenever we have to place dimensions there will be three kinds of lines in the drawing horizontal lines inclined lines and vertical lines so let us first see how we can place dimensions for horizontal lines under aligned system so first of all we have to draw the extension lines from these two points by leaving 1 mm gap which we have learned in the starting slides then after that we will draw dimension line followed by closed filled arrow heads on both sides of the dimension line then in aligned system we place dimensions above the dimension line and at the middle of the dimension line so a very important point to understand over here whenever we place dimensions in aligned system dimensions must be above the line and at the middle of the dimension line now one more point to understand when we place dimensions for horizontal lines then dimensions must be readable from bottom of the page so if you will write dimensions like this so this dimension is readable from bottom of the page now we will learn how to place vertical dimensions under line system so suppose i want to place dimension for this particular height so first of all from these two points i have to draw extension lines by leaving 1 mm gap and after that i will draw a dimension line followed by closed filled arrow heads on both sides of the dimension line then under aligned system we have to first follow the two rules what were those two rules that we will place dimension above the dimension line at the middle of the dimension line so for this particular dimension line above the dimension line will be this side why this side because aligned system says that whenever we have to place dimensions for vertical lines dimensions should be readable from right side of the page that means we will read the dimensions from this side so from this side above the line will be this side of the dimension line so we will write dimensions like this so we have satisfied first two conditions that we have placed dimension above the dimension line at the middle of the dimension line and another point to understand that under aligned system when you will place dimensions for vertical dimensions then dimensions must be readable from right side of the page now you can see this particular dimension is not readable from bottom of the page it is only readable from right side of the page so we have learned two things over here whenever we have to place horizontal dimensioning in case of aligned system dimensions must be readable from bottom of the page and vertical dimensions should be readable from right side of the page but in both cases first two rules should be followed those were dimensions should be above the line and at the middle of the dimension line so as we are placing this dimension from right side of the page so this side will be considered as above the line next we will learn about inclined dimensions for inclined dimensions what we will do we will first draw extension lines so one important point to understand over here that when you will draw extension lines 
these lines must be perpendicular to the object lines fine so whenever we have to draw extension lines everywhere you can see the extension lines are always at 90 degrees to the object line so over here also when you will draw extension lines these must be 90 degrees to the object line after that we will draw dimension line dimension line must be parallel to the object line everywhere you can see dimension line is always parallel to the object line now in this case we will place dimension in this manner now you can see in this case dimension is placed on this side of the dimension line why because only on this side we can read the dimension and we have to satisfy the first two rules what were those two rules above the line and at the middle of the dimension line now if we will place this dimension over here then that will be called as below the line so that is not correct fine so we have to place dimension above the line now let us see more examples for inclined dimensioning now you can see for this particular line object line we have drawn two extension lines and then dimension line which is parallel to this object line now for this particular inclined line dimension will be placed on this side because you cannot place this dimension over here because that will be called as below the line so that will violate the rule so in a line system it will always be above the line in the middle let us see for these two inclined lines also so for this inclined line two lines are drawn extension lines which are 90 degree to the object lines then in between these two extension lines we will draw dimension line which will be parallel to object line so dimension will be placed above the line at the middle now you can see if we place dimension here that will be called as below the line so for this case we have to place dimension over here now it is above the line and at the middle of the line now let us see for this particular case two extension lines are drawn dimension line is drawn now in this case above the line will be this side so above the line and at the middle of the dimension and one very important point to understand over here that dimension is always aligned to the dimension line in other words we can say dimension is at 90 degrees to the dimension line over here you can see that this dimension is at 90 degree to the dimension line over here also dimension is at 90 degrees to the dimension line so as you can see that when orientation of the dimension line changes orientation of dimension also changes look over here dimension line was horizontal so this was at 90 degree to that line but over here this dimension line is drawn at some angle so we are placing dimension line in such a manner that it should remain at 90 degrees to the dimension line fine so from here we have concluded that dimensions are aligned to the dimension dimension lines when orientation of dimension line will change then orientation of dimension will also change so that is why we call it as aligned system now let us quickly see how to place angles under this system so first of all we have to draw extension line by leaving one millimeter gap then we will draw a curved dimension line on both sides of the curved dimension line we will draw closed field arrow heads in 3 ratio 1 then again we have to satisfy those two rules that is above the dimension line at the middle of the dimension line now this side will be considered as below the line so for this case we will place dimension like this so it is above the line at the middle of the dimension line and it is aligned to the dimension line. now similarly for this particular case you can see this side is the above side you cannot place dimension over here that will be called as below the line so it is above the line at the middle and it is aligned 
So over here you can see if we have to place dimension for the angle first of all we have to draw extension line followed by dimension line and closed field arrowheads. Now again we have to see which side is the above side. Now we cannot place dimension here that would be called as below the dimension line. So it means this side is the above side. It is above the dimension line at the middle of the dimension line and it is aligned to the dimension line. Similarly you can see over here. So this side is the above side. I hope aligned system is clear to you. Now let us discuss unidirectional system. 